Hello there fellow flashers. Here's the finished product of what you'll be learning how to create in the following flash tutorial which is suitable for flash CS3, CS4, CS5 and any action script version you work in. It's custom animated lightning effects. Alright let's rock and roll. First thing we'll need to do is create a new flash file. Action script version does not matter. I'm going to change the stage background to black. Layer 1 I'm going to rename picture that's where I'm going to put the picture I want to use and I'm going to get my picture from fireworks I already have it open control C which is copy and then in flash control V which is paste it's going to paste this image as a movie clip on the current frame if you happen to not be in fireworks and you're not copy and pasting your picture straight over you can go to file import to stage any picture that you want see you can just browse your folders on your picture layer you just put that into place wherever you want it now we're going to create a new layer above that and we're going to rename this one lightning now we're going to grab the pencil tool making sure that it's set to white and let's give our stroke maybe let's make it about two I'm just going to come down off the top with a jaggedy kind of line and then I'm going to change the stroke to 0.1, 0 0.1. And I'm going to start putting little jaggedy branches coming off of this little lightning bolt. And with lightning, it likes to branch off, kind of forks off of the main bolt. And that's what, you, what kind of effect you want to give it. And just make sure you're getting your lines nice and jaggedy. Really, you don't need a whole lot you don't want to go crazy with the effect and that's good for my needs now I'm going to highlight all of that make sure I lock the picture layer so I don't select him as well highlight all of those little markings I just made with the pencil tool make sure they're all highlighted and dotted convert to symbol make that a movie clip it doesn't matter what you name it in your library press OK now we're gonna go and give it an effect uh, filter effect go ahead down here add new glow make it white strength about I don't know 300 something blur about 14 or 15 and medium and there you go there's your lightning strike now what we're gonna do is mask it and animate it now now we have our lightning layer and our picture layer. Let's go ahead and lock the lightning layer so we don't accidentally put anything on that layer past this point. Now let's create one more layer. This is going to be the mask. So let's just name it mask. Now the lightning and the picture, let's go ahead out to frame 80. You can see my frames per second is set to 30 frames per second for this file. So that's my animation speed, how fast my timeline will travel. So I'm going to extend the lightning and the picture layers out to frame 80 by pressing F5 while it, frame 80 is highlighted. That will effectively extend those frames so that imagery lives throughout all those frames when the file runs. Now in the mask layer, we're going to grab the brush tool. You can see mine is set to a magenta color and I have my brush size is set to the biggest. So I'm just going to go in and paint where I want the first frame of the lightning to show, which is right about there. That should be good. There's one. Now I'm going to go on frame two. Highlight it, press F6 to create a new keyframe. I'm going to continue painting to reveal more of the lightning bolt. and then the last one frame 3 F6 again and let's get the remainder of the lightning bolt under the mask alrighty that looks good to me so you can see how that's going to come down and reveal that bolt in an animated sort of way now I'm going to go to frame 5 now let's go out on the lightning layer let's unlock that let's press F6 on this frame to create a new keyframe 
Then let's go to frame 6, F6, frame 7, F6, frame 8, F6, and frame 9, F6. So right here, we want it to disappear, the lightning. So we're going to press Control X on this frame, which is 7, press Control X. And on the last frame, which is 9, press Control X. Now all we have to do is unlock the picture layer and be sure that we grab the arrow tool, the selection tool, highlight him, the picture, and let's make some keyframes here now. F6, F6, and all along through here we want to put keyframes as well that correspond to the lightning layer's keyframes. Alright, so in the first one we can see that we don't want him fully bright. So we want to go to color effect, style, brightness, and you can see mine is set to negative 83, and that's about what I want when he's in the darkness. But you can see on frame one we have lightning coming into view, so we'll make it a little bit brighter, maybe negative 70. The next one we have more lightning showing, so we're going to highlight him, give him brightness of negative. I don't know, 40 something. Then the next one, all of the lightning would be in view, so let's brighten him up to make him normal view of zero. So he'll be at his default brightness. Then, on this frame, where the lightning would be gone, you want to make him dark again. So you can go to the brightness. So basically, you're just w wanting to make his brightness correspond to the lightning. So let's go bring this back down to 80. This one, lightning's gone, so let's get that down to 80 as well. And this one, the lightning's gone, so let's get that one down, brightness to about 80. Now, right click the mask layer and select mask. Now, press Control Enter and run your file. And that's what you have a zombie standing in the dark and a lightning strike brightening him up and you can run your timeline marker to see exactly what's happening and let's get down to 24 frames per second Press Control Enter. And there you have it, folks. Custom lightning effect that will brighten an image that's behind it when the lightning strikes. Hope you've enjoyed that one, and we'll see you next lesson. Bye bye.